welcome back to another episode of Time Chunkman. In the last one we got to level 30 defense and 40 thieving, barely escaped death and then kind of failed to escape death. We managed to get back to our chunks in time though, lost the hardcore status, whoopsie. But oh well, dying is no biggie as Zone Zoomer is still here with us today and she is ready to complete some tasks. So now after we picked one chunk, which is this one that I picked myself, now we will roll two and then pick one of the two. Uh, there's many, many chunks that I don't want. There's many chunks that I also kind of want, but there's not a perfect chunk, you know? I would really like maybe this one, so then we can in, fu in the future go to Artie, but Artie also means um, 80 thieving, pickpocket a hero, so kind of don't want that. Horde Serum, I don't know. You know, I don't want to call it. I sort of want to go to Falador next because of this bank or this bank here. Um, so I'm going to select all the ones that we can go to. I'm not selecting this one because we can only do this corner and we can't get to Musa Mus Mus Point yet. So there's no point even though it's technically right here, you know, I can walk over it. It's gonna be useless because I can't do any of the tasks there. So I'm going to select all the ones that we can walk on and that should be it, right? Nine chunks and then now we will roll two and we will choose one. This is, uh, I'm pretty nervous because <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. We could, the series could end, you know? This could end really fast if we get something really, really, really bad. So I hope this works. I've never done this roll two option, so let's try and see. Okay, it's taking a while. Okay, I think these are really simple ones. I'm pretty sure these are okay, Crafting Guild and Melzar's Maze. I think this one is super simple. The Melzar's Maze has like nothing to it. Um, essential chunks, cook a scrambled egg. Oh, does that mean we have a... Oh, is there just an egg spawn? So not a chicken spawn. I would be happy for a chicken spawn because that would be much better food and cooking training. Kill an imp. I mean, I've already done that, but I would do that. Obtain a blue wizard hat. I already have it. What about the crafting yield? Steel weapon. Churn a pot of cream. That's level 21 cooking. Cut an emerald? But that is also like 20 something crafting? 27 crafting. I'm not sure how I'm actually going to even train crafting. How do you even train crafting? I can't enter the crafting yield. But other than that, the tasks in this chunk actually are not that bad. And there's several, you know, so we could progress our account. We could get a, a weapon upgrade. That is, that is really good. Because my best in slot, as you can see in my clips, is still a bronze fucking scimitar. It's really sad. I have an Addy Chain Buddy and a bronze scimitar. It's really bad. A steel weapon would be amazing. Alright, so I think I've decided with the easiest one, obviously, to pick the Melzar's Maze chunk. Let's unlock it. There we go. Okay, now it updated this one. I don't know why it didn't update that one. And there we go. We have Melzar's Maze unlocked. Now we have to do it in game while not doing anything else. I think it's shift click twice. Boom. Okay, and we have three tasks. We do have to obtain a blue wizard hat. Basically, all these tasks are it's basically imp killing. Kill an imp, kill an imp until you get a blue wizard hat, and kill an imp until you get an egg. I also have to train my cooking, actually, so it's not gonna be that easy of a chunk. I need to somehow get my cooking up, so I'll probably have to cook some of those rat meats. So let's reset the timer and get to work. This is so nice, because the imps really, all the time, they spawn over here in this other chunk, and they always keep walking over the line, but now I'll be able to kill them more consistently. Um, they also very often spawn into the Melzar's Maze. Not sure if we can enter it. Let's try. Probably not. Probably need some sort of key from Dragon Slayer. Yeah. So they very often spawn into the into the maze, so I may need to hop worlds when that happens. Uh, what else we have here? Uh, not much. Really, we just have to be like imp hunting the whole time, which kind of sucks. This could actually be really bad. Oh, there's another one. Because we also, in the meantime, we have to train cooking to level 21, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, I did. Was that just a hobgoblin that I saw there? Wander in our chunk? I feel like it was. Mm, let's see if we can tag them. 
waste a little bit of time. Oh god, they're so far now. Okay, maybe later. But we could get possibly an upgrade. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what they drop. Okay, so the scrambled egg is level 13 cooking. Not too bad. I'm already seven. Wait, no. Nine. <laughs> That's magic. Nine cooking, actually, not that bad. I'm not going for the egg drops, obviously, to train my cooking. I will use the meat. Oh, and we just got an egg. Well, that's perfect. I will hold on to this egg for dear life. Well, since I have the egg, I will go and kill more of those rats to train cooking uh, with. So that then when the hour is nearly done, we can do this task. We're off to kill rats now. And then I will probably get 13 cooking with these um, meats. I will lure the rats with confuse, most likely, or wind strikes, whatever. I think it's safe to get rid of this air talisman. I've had it for the longest time. I still firmly believe that I cannot reach those bunnies there, the rabbits. So I think I will just drop it. Maybe in the future I'll need to craft some air runes, but I'll just go kill the air wizard again. Hopefully it doesn't bite me later. And we have reached level 10 in cooking. Very nice. Um, I've only now realized <laughs> that I fucked up. Uh, one of the tasks was to kill an imp. And as you saw in the previous clips, I killed at least two imps but since this and you know i've been playing and i have now 32 minutes left right here um of the timer so let's just pretend that when i unlock the chunk i instantly kill the imp and instantly reset the timer which would either way put me now at 32 minutes so i'm sorry about that it doesn't really change too much because i'm not getting an extra hour i'm not getting extra time or anything since i'm just ticking it off and we are pretending that at 59 minutes, we reset the timer back to one hour, so it's all the same. Okay, I just burnt so many meats that I don't think we're gonna manage to get enough rat meat for 13 cooking. I only do have one egg, which only has a 50% chance of cooking, so I could burn it and then we could fail. So now we're resorting to killing imps instead, hopefully getting a blue wizard hat so that we can have that task done, or maybe multiple eggs. I really, really need multiple eggs, most likely. I think I'm gonna go just south of Falador. I think there was like two imps spawning there or roaming around there. Um, I'm kinda low on time. I'm <laughs> getting a little bit nervous. Oh my god, finally. I'm so sorry. I was um, chewing carrots. Oh my god, I thought we would not make it. I literally thought we would not make it. We finally got the blue wizard hat, even though I already had one. And now we can take that off as a finished task obtain a blue wizard hat very nice very nice thank god that was that was just too close to com for comfort three minutes and 43 seconds really close and for some reason they were just not dropping that they were dropping everything else but that but i'm probably going to keep killing the imps to get a few more eggs i only have two so far so that um even when i burn them you know i can make sure i can make the scrambled egg egg please oh my god thank god <laughs> That was, that was perfect. And here we go, our long awaited 13 cooking. We can now cook scrambled eggs. I will probably just continue training a little bit of attack on goblins and also get more meats. And when we get close, I'll probably say like 10 minutes, I will try to make the scrambled egg. We do have three eggs, we can burn two, but in case we fail and burn all three, we'll have to quickly go and kill more imps to get more eggs. Oh wow, we got the exam. I think I had an exam one time, but I was so low on time and I really needed the... I really, really could not make it, so I had to dismiss it. I think that's uh, when I was going for the uh, 30 defense, but now I can, finally. Um, probably put this on agility. Alright, with about less than 10 minutes left, I truly hope that these three eggs are okay. I could try to push it further, kind of don't want to. Maybe we can get, we probably should get, yeah, we should get another cooking level. So maybe, you know, it's going to increase our chances a little bit. If we cook all of these perfectly, maybe we get a level. I don't think so though. So we have to go to the general store and buy a bowl and then really hope to succeed in these three eggs that we have. And there's an imp right here. Let me just try killing it in case 
Maybe we get another egg. There we go. Egg? Alright, let's buy a bowl. I've actually never ever. I've never been on live television before. Made. I have never made scrambled eggs on RuneScape. Very weird. I assume I just use the egg. We have uncooked egg. A bowl of uncooked egg. We could try to milk it, train some attack, but I think I'd rather be safe than sorry. So let's try cooking this. Ooh. Okay, so we burnt the first one. You know, that's what we have two more for. I really, really hope we don't have to go and run and kill more imps, please. <gasps> We've done it. We've done it. We have scrambled egg, a new food. Let's open the chunk map. And we have done cook a scrambled egg task. All tasks done. This was a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy chunk. Now we have to pick one. Uh, we can pick any of the ones that are here that are walkable obviously we cannot really pick the 10 because we can't get there uh crandor we can't get there either but the rest of them we can pick now i really want a weapon upgrade because you know i have the bronze scimitar um and there's a few chunks that could give me upgrades there is the port serum chunk but it has quite a lot of tasks uh wield an addy weapon i can basically do it in like 100 xp i think and i could just buy it from the store but the problem is I have to cast low level alchemy. I'm not sure what level that is. Okay, low level alchemy is actually not that bad. It has, uh, it is level 21. Magic, we are like nine. Not the best level, but we do have the rune shop, which could take a lot of our money, of course. But we do have uh, ways to get runes at least. Um, bake a plain pizza, that is another thing. Um, it requires cooking and I need to get more cooking levels. There's a food store here. Everything requires coins, so now it's my 12k cash stack is probably gonna deplete if I go there. The rest of them, very, very simple. Very simple tasks. The next chunk that offers me some upgrades is the crafting guild. It gives me a steel weapon from the hobgoblins there. Um, the rest of it is actually not that bad, but I feel like there is churn a pot of cream, which is level 21 cooking. We just hit 14, so it shouldn't be maybe that bad. Plus... There is a cow pen right there next to the crafting guild. So that is just unlimited supply of raw meat and cooking XP, essentially. I won't have to draw rats to my chunk anymore, which was really, really annoying. We can also pick the Valador chunk, which would be very nice because we are just a regular Iron Man. So we can use the bank, but we still have not had access to a bank. But the problem here is that it says potential chunk task, so I guess it could... Ooh, it could possibly not be a task, but I think it will be. I have to chop a yew tree and I also have to burn yew logs. And the only trees that are in this chunk are regular trees and oak trees. So I don't have willow trees, no maple trees, no mid-level, no mid-tier trees. Only trees and oak trees. So that is, that's just, oh my god. I didn't even know there's a bronze axe spawn on the top floor of the furnace. The rest of the tasks are pretty okay, just killing things, killing things, obtaining some drops or buying things from the store. But the woodcutting, I'm not sure if there's enough tasks for me to get 60 woodcutting with a bronze axe. Literally with a bronze axe. This one has a bank, we're not speaking of this. Mine amethyst, we're never picking that one. Never. I, no. South Felidor, we could do that. It's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. There's nothing to it. There's also an unlimited supply of food because there's chickens there and also cows. So that's pretty nice. And there's several imps there, but it's not special, but it does push us further towards Draenor, you know, a bank is what we want. Port Serum also has a deposit, bo uh, deposit box, but I don't know. I feel like a bank would be nicer because we could just withdraw stuff when we want it. And here we are having finished yet another chunk. Sorry for such a short episode, this chunk really only gave us three tasks that I managed to do really quickly and there weren't any long grinds either. But worry not, as the next episode will be filled with much more content and obstacles. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!